the right lane to merge onto I-96 East.
the right lane to take exit 53 toward Whitmore Lake. Roundabout, take the second exit onto Eight Mile Road.
and say, hey, this is what we need to do to make this happen, you would think we would have the resources to, to, to be able to do that, the knowledge to be able to do that. We're seeing it from the teams, and we're hearing it from the athletic directors. We're just not hearing it from the presidents. Well, Tariq, Tariq made the point. He goes, okay, Temple's playing in Philly right. this weekend. Pitt is playing in Pittsburgh this weekend. Yep. But Penn State can't play in the middle of the state. Right, Notre Dame's playing. How close Notre Dame's playing, but Indiana and Purdue aren't. I, I think what happened here is that Mark Schlissel, and he's an immunologist, and then along with uh, Stanley, Michigan Stanley, State. But I think Schlissel and the Michigan Hammer, I think he tried to get everybody to follow him. And I think he thought they were going to follow him, and they didn't. Because, oh, you mean the other conference? Yes, the, he, he, the big block M hammer, he slammed it down and thought everybody would follow, and they didn't. And they stood up, and they're finding ways to do it. And you know what? There's a lot of pride in saying you were wrong. And maybe he's not wrong. But, right. you know, maybe I, I understand why he made the decision he made. Yeah, it's just the timing of it was. Yeah, right. and the timing and the lack of, of information is to right. Yes, I mean... And he's got other stuff that he's going to worry about that's going on that campus right now with the uh, you know, GAs uh, striking as well. So yep. uh, it's, not, it's not good to be Mark Schlissel. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the problem all along to me, besides the actual medical stuff, which is the most important. In one it's mile, turn right point. onto Indianola Drive. I mean, when Jim Harbaugh said that he's texted Schlissel, he's trying to get a hold of him, and no response. I mean, look, I understand football is not the most important thing in a universe. Okay, I'm not that stupid. But I'm sorry, it's a big, it's, a, it's an important part of that school. And for the president of the school, not to, even if it's true, get back and talk to the head football coach, or even meet with the team and explain to his, stu his students. It's, it's the president's students. Okay, they are students, believe it or not. Yeah. Why he decided to go a certain way, that to me is deplorable. And maybe I'm just trying to live in a Pollyanna world where everybody's so honest and things like that. But I don't know. Uh, you think, without a doubt, you have disconnect here because you put you had a conference that put on a schedule five days before they shut it down. There's the communication between the football people and the presidents and chancellors isn't there. It's, yeah. it's not at all. I know. And, 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 that's, and that's the thing that makes the Big Ten look so bad. Turn right onto Indianola Drive. And it's happened in the last month, or, or just a little bit over a month. Can you go back to the to the schedule launch? That was clearly launched by the coaches. In half a mile, turn left onto Gallagher Boulevard. Because he's the one that announced it. But I, I'm wondering what the presidents and chancellors were thinking when they made this announcement, and everybody got their hopes up that hey, we're Wait, hold on a second. We're, we're about to have a conversation of shutting things down. And then they do, and there's no reasons giving after six days right. of, you know, you know the, the whole Jenga 41. This is a great schedule, a great opportunity. It, it, we, I think we all agree that we could have gotten to this point in mid-September and realized that it wasn't possible and they could have shut things down. Right. But it's the lack of effort. And, and I've said this before. If there's a college athletes love and, and coaches, it's all about effort. Even if you can't go out there and nothing's going right, you can always give effort. It is. It feels like a lack of effort on the administrative side to give these kids a chance to play. I agree with you. Let's go to Todd in Lake Orion. What's up? Good morning, gentlemen. Turn left onto Gallagher Boulevard. I think you guys are doing a little cherry picking here. You know, you're saying the ACC, you know, these conference are playing. And, you know, you brought up the Duke and their great match. Hey, let's be honest. Is Harvard a good school? In a quarter mile, the destination is on your right. 4877 Gallagher Boulevard. They're not. They're, they're, they're some of the most prestigious right. here, along with Northwestern, along with this. They're not playing football. Now, I don't know everything they know. They don't know. You may know more than me. But guess what? I know that they don't have football coaches that make millions of dollars. I know that they don't have their own TV network. So maybe their decisions are not based on recruiting and other things. They're based on the fact that, guess what? We're a university. We have a response. The destination is on your right. 4877 Gallagher Boulevard. Providing a quality. Arrived. 
Their priorities are different than the Big Ten. Not picking on the Big Ten.